What's up guys, Sucklethorn here. I'm rocking this hat today. This is happening. We're all gonna let this happen. There we go. Push my little crown up there. Anyway, he was giving me my opinion on Warlords of Draenor today. The new WoW expansion that just came out. I actually, just so you all know, played vanilla, was there for vanilla. Did all that. It was like, whoa, you look so special. Yeah, I was there for vanilla. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I was there for Burning Crusade. I know. I know. Thank you guys. Whatever this guy. But I actually left towards the end of Crusade and never looked back until recently. Me and Crazy Gamer Chick were bored one day. This was months ago. I actually think it was like the start of this year or something like that. We were bored. We we're like, you know what? Well, let's at least find something. We were kind of tired of all the console games. It was in that long stretch between CODs, and COD Ghost was not holding my attention very well, uh, as I'm sure most of you guys probably know. And because of that, we went to WoW, started rocking it, both got addicted, loved it, you know, got back into the WoW thing, and we rocked horror, and that's how we do, right? That's why I'm rocking this red shirt. If I knew how to paint that symbol, I would, but guess what? I don't, so I can't. It is what it is. Anyway, uh, I think they did an awesome job with this expansion. It's awesome. It gets a great story. Each quest line is a lot of fun. It's not just so much like you're running around doing this shit. Kill these dudes and collect this, you know, ink sack and splash it in everybody's face. It's not about that anymore, right? Now it's actually more about you're having fun. You're getting some lore, little bits and pieces. And having played both sides a little bit, the starting areas, uh, four Warlords, Draenor, four Horde, and Alliance, I can tell you that when I first started, I was like, dude, this is a Horde expansion. It feels great. Right? It's the Iron Horde. Well, the Iron Horde isn't technically part of your horde unless you thought, oh man, like if I was to go where I am now and then uh, past me went back 20 years. I'm not, I'm not that old, guys. I'm not 30, so I can't go back 30, 40 some years, which is how I was going in WAD. If I, if I remember correctly, time zones or timelines are very uh, complex things to, uh, you know, master. And I'm not a great time travelist, uh, as you guys can know. I, I'm not getting any younger here. So, because of that, they went back in time, now, uh, and sometimes it's like, man, are they killing themselves? Like, if I went back in time and went to go fight myself now, and I'd be like, oh my god, it's me in the past, am I going to kill myself? Fucking kill yourself in the future? It, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> if you forget all that, right, you forget the whole timeline nonsense because it spurs a conversation way too complex for anyone to answer, right? And you actually just go in, you play it, you, and at first, the Horde actually seemed to be so much cooler and enjoyable in this expansion. I was like, wow. Why would I want to play lines? And then I started playing my human, and I was like, you know what? This is getting kind of lame. Um, and, and I, I don't know. I was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not feeling. I wasn't feeling badass. I'm like saving Drainy or Dra Dranai, the Dranai, however you want to say. It. I call them Drainies. Sue me. All right, whatever, guys. They're I think they're called Dranai, but I call them Drainies. That's just how I've always pronounced it. That's how I continue to pronounce it. And you said they're saving them. You're bringing them all along with you, and that's cool, I guess. But when you're when you're saving the Frostwolf clan with the orcs, and they're like, oh, no, you know, you're like, all right, man. That, see that? That's what it's all about. It's like this tribal sort of game. And what I like about it is, I was a little worried that the Iron Horde actually wasn't going to be a threat. And I, originally, I was like, you know, Azeroth dealt with all these challenges, all these issues, all these problems. We kill every bad guy. Obviously, we're still alive. And because of that, I was a little worried to see what they were going to do with the actual bad guys. Were they bad enough? Were they tough enough? Could they take out Stormwind? God, I hope so. Or, you know, Orgrimmar, which would never happen. But could they do that? Could they do these types of things? And it's crazy because, with that said, right? With that said, this expansion wasn't so much, an, uh, I guess, an issue of were they a threat to Azeroth as to... Was it a threat for you to go fight them by yourselves? You see, because you go in, not only get too many spoilers, and I know it's been a little bit, but some people may not have gotten it. I don't know. You may be waiting. You go in, and long story short, you get you stay there for a while. All right, you decided to camp out in uh, the old Drenor there, and because of that, you know you're back there with all, all whatever peeps come with you. I'm not gonna say who come with you, and you're back there. You, you get stuck there. You're, you're kind of effed, right? You, you get really screwed over. And you sort of wonder, oh, hey, you know, hmm, wonder how I'm going to survive this. Because you're stuck in a world you don't know, a world you don't understand, a world that most people didn't survive. Most of the Draenei actually died in the wars thanks to the uh, the sort of crazed out orcs that took the demon blood. And so they wouldn't even know how they survived because they didn't survive. So it's kind of like, you know, how are you going to survive this sort of world where it's tribal and crazy and they have such a huge amount of people and they have all this technology now thanks to Garrosh. So it's like, how are you going to stop that with just like the handful of people you have? That's what I thought was crazy. As you're running through the jungle trying to escape and it's like, it's not a threat to the world, it's a threat to you're now screwed. You you did it. Ultimate sacrifice, you screwed yourself and now you have to survive. And I think that's what's awesome about it. It really brings back that wild feel, that old school tribal here it is, you know, the mass amounts of people, you're in this constant war. And that's what it's, that's what World of Warcraft's all about. It's in the name, Warcraft, right? That's what it's all about, guys. And that's why I think, honestly, it's a great game. I love it. It's so enjoyable. And uh, that's all I wanted to say. I think the game's awesome. I enjoy it a lot. 
Crazy is enjoying it a lot. If you guys want to play with us, we're actually on the server Hellscream. You can either find me on Tulari. He's my troll. We got we got we got guild there. Or goodness gracious, I have a human. I can't remember. It's Athamon. A T H A M O N. He's a human. Yeah. And so far, I've actually progressed farther on the human side, which is funny. I'm giving you all the shit on the human side of the story, just because I got I leveled up my garrison level two, and then I was like, oh shit, and it's big and badass, and it was just really enjoyable, and I just couldn't stop. Geeking out because there's a little outhouse, the little porta potty, you know, of of the olden days. And I went in there, right clicked it, and there's like a little lumberjack in there, like, oh, that's a load off sitting inside. And I was like, what the fuck? So I had to right click it, and it poofs me in there, and I'm like sitting on him, and he's sitting on me, and I'm like, what the fuck? And then he walks out, and it's like, boom, achievement, relieve yourself. And I was like, no way. Anyway, guys, check it out if you haven't played WoW before. Will of General, a lot of fun, really brings back the sort of amazement that 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 feeling you want to. Ex What's it called? I can't even remember the name now. Damn it, it amazed me so much. It blew my mind. I'm all fried circuited now. No. Uh, where you want to explore. You want to go out there, find shit, and realize what's out there, and see all the actual artwork that they did. Well, I actually like that you can't fly because it forces you to look around the world, see what they did, see the small things they put in there, right? The little hidden shit that we won't find out for, for uh, like for months. Find that shit. All right? It's fun. It's awesome, guys. Get damn. Like I said, come find us. We are on Hellscream. That's our server. It's a normal average populated. As for like the issues and glitches and stuff like that, they're minuscule. I haven't actually run into too many myself. I ran into one issue, I think, with the, the garrison, was it? And it was just one time where he was, like, the human was like, you know, this is disgusting, but the actual word said something else than he had said. Nah, wasn't going to kill anybody. Obviously, the queue times are big. It's a new game. It's the actual expansion weekend. You know, that's how it's going to be. Big queue times, lots of waiting in line. It is what it is, guys. What can you do? It's crazy. It's crazy, guys, but I am out of here. I love you so much. Thank you for all the support. Hope you guys like my crown. Ugh, there we go. Okay, I'm out of here, guys. Oh, shit. I knocked the camera out of focus. All right, guys, I'm out of here. We love you so much. Thank you 20 out. Peace. Oh, <laughs> I totally missed the button. I'm out of here. Peace.